Welcome back to IT Security Labs and today we are going to create a new agent so that we can implant our SQL Server. In the last video we deployed Adaptix C2 framework. I showed you how to in install it and everything and now we have it running. As you can see it looks very close to Cobalt Strike. Our main objective in this video is for me to generate an agent implant our SQL Server in our Game of Active Directory environment. So what you're going to need is the Game of Active Directory installed. If you don't already have this series will show you how to do that. And then we'll be implanting our SQL Server because that's the server that we have exploited and we have initial foothold on the environment. So if you haven't already, I highly encourage going through the documentation for Adaptix C2 uh, framework. Uh, the installation is pretty straightforward. I use the Ansible playbook. The user interface it will guide you on uh, what it looks like. I went through some of these. Pretty much if you have used Cobra Strike, this is very similar. Then today we are going to focus on the listeners and agents. First, it says uh, listeners are managed through the context menu and uh, the listeners table. It is the same icon just like uh, Cobra Strike. So before we can implant our SQL Server, we need to have a listener. Let's go and uh, create a listener and then uh, we can name it something like HTTP listener, so that is super simple. I have my notes here for ease so that we can uh, follow. If you are not already running, you can start the client by running Adaptix client, then navigate to the listeners tab and click add, and ours is going to be HTTP-listener. Super straightforward. To create a listener, we just go um, here, click on the listener headphones, right click, create HTTP-listener. That's what I'm going to name it. Here, we choose external HTTP. They have this Gopher TCP, but it only supports Linux and Mac right now. But we also have SMB, which is internal, and also TCP. The bind port uh, 443, but then we need the IP address for the server, the 103991. Uh, sure, we'll leave it at 443, 103991, 443. All right, that should work. It's a post slash, let's say, uh, comments dot PHP. Anything really that we want here. We are not specifying HTTP headers. We can here if we wanted to, um, if especially for the redirectors. Page errors, this is what people will see when they get an error. And also this is um, the payload. We can change pretty much what we want in here. But we're not changing much, we're specifying the C2 server's IP, because that's where it will be calling back to. Then uh, the callback address. And then um, here it's going to be post. Yeah, pretty much it. HTTP listener. Create. All right, we got one. Okay. It looks like it's there. I, I clicked it a couple of times. That's why I did that. Then right click. Generate an agent. It's going to be a beacon for Windows. 64 format is going to be an executable. We can also have a service DL and shell code just like in Cobra Strike. Uh, four seconds for sleep, uh, zero jitter. We even have killed it. Service name, we can just name it whatever we want. I'm uh, sure I can just say name it agent service. When you say generate, then we can go. I'm going to go to my home. Cali on my desktop, I have a payload folder. You can create your own if you want. And then this one, I will name it adapt.exe and save. Okay. So now that we have it here, we can now SCP it to a Windows machine. I'm RDP'd into a Windows machine. Uh, this is the SQL Server. So make sure to SCP to yours. Then I can just run SCP. I have a paste boy here. It's going to be put in the Luders folder. So uh, if you deploy Game of Active Directory, the Luders folder is there by default. ACP to car from Kali, path to my adapter.exe, then I want it to be in the Luders folder. Do that. And the password is Kali. Elastic, of course, complains all the way at the bottom there. Malware protection, yeah, of course, it's seeing it as malware because this one is heavily signatured. Now let's double click on our adapt. We're giving EDR a lot of opportunities to catch this. 
by just executing it, we already see it's being seen. This is a public seed too, by the way. It has been um, deployed for a couple months, I think. So people already have submitted this to Microsoft and malicious behavior is being detected. That's not surprising to us. Uh, but as you can see here, we got a call back. So this is awesome. Now we know that we have um, access to the SQL computer. We're going to do the same on a Windows 11 as well. So this is a uh, Windows Server 2019 where we got a call back. Now let's do it on a um, Windows 11. I'm going to just run the same. SCP. Password Kali. And of course it's complaining. Uh, this time let's execute it from the command line. Adapt.exe. And, uh, and uh, let, of course, now back, we have two. Perfect. So we can change the view a little bit to see, all right, we see two machines. I like how this looks. Pretty much similar to Cobalt Strike. We can change the view. We can also have a list. Let's see what this looks like in dark mode. Okay, I need to close it. So when you close it and you want to get back in, it remembers that you already were connected and you can just connect. Boom. Okay. So it looks, uh, I guess, dark mode compared to light mode depends on you, on you what you are interested in. But this is what we have. We can move things around. It tells us which listener it has and when business. So let's try to interact with one of these. Let's say I wanted to interact with my uh, Windows 11. Right click console this is a beacon so uh, let me type help oh it also helps us when you type help help cat help help execute all right so it looks like uh, we already have the buffs already loaded okay uh, I'm assuming I can just run a PS uh, PS list okay let's see all right so there we go we are interacting with our machine things are working let's see if i can adjust this so i can move things around change this to be a list so i can have much real estate here uh where am i all right it's already running the buffs are already loaded which is awesome so I'm in as win local user. This is perfect. Let's see PWD. It's loading buffs. Next, I will see if you, I can run like um, trusted stake buffs through this, just like we can do in Copper Strike. Then this will be amazing. All right. Uh, the font is a little small for my liking, so I'll probably figure out if there's a way I can change that. I think I should be able to. Yeah, font size. Let's see if I can apply. Okay, let's uh, restart it because it's a little small for my eyes. Oof, now it's big. Whoa, okay. It's a little, it's too big now, but. Um, so let me reduce it. 18 was way too big. 12. Okay. But this is good. It's color coded. Now back. Yeah. I like that. Way better. All right. Perfect. Console that. Oh, that was the one I was in. Let's uh, console this one. Can I just run there? And it's a buff. It actually tells us th that buff. So I will need to know how do I list all the buffs that I have here? Uh, how do I load new buffs? That's uh, for next videos. I can see my call, call back times here. Let's see if I can change my sleep. Uh, let's say I wanted it to, instead of 5 seconds, I wanted to sleep 30 seconds. What if I just say sleep 30? What does it actually do? Is it 30 minutes? Is it okay it's 30 seconds so it defaults to seconds so that was good this one i wanted to see 
to sleep uh, maybe five sleep um three minutes what if i say 3 m yep it's going to sleep in th for three minutes all right uh let's see our alerts we obviously generated a lot of noise here so let's see <laughs> what we did obviously this is heavily signatured so yeah you see all these adapt adapt malicious behavior was detected of course malicious it was very malicious what are we talking about here uh yes each time malware is detected execution of a file downloaded via okay so this was the behavior i downloaded the file <laughs> via scp and then it was executed and let's see another one so obviously this is not opsec safe in by any means what i did here but it still de demonstrates that one our c2 works and two we have signatures for this c2 already out there and of course uh, there are ways we can work later to make sure that we can bypass this detection but from what we can see so far we're quite happy with where we are next in this series we're going to be using this for the entirety of our uh, game of xg directory so that it looks like we're using cobra strike i'm still on the fence about dark mode versus light mode i kind of like the light mode because this dark looks a little different than i, I would like but if you have any preference or if you want me to go from one to another let me know i also want to load trusted sec buffs in here because i'm familiar with them um that's what we'll be doing in the next videos but for now i think this is a very good point to stop and i'll see you next time when we continue in our game of xg directory attacking this environment thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time